Roy, congratulations, and I gather it got the uh, seal of royal approval as well. Yeah, indeed it did. We, uh, we always knew that the, the Prince was going to come in. He's a, a, an enormous supporter of the Football Association, of course, the England team. But, uh, so I knew he was coming. I was just ha happy that he came into a, a happy dressing room as well, but it was really nice to see him. And, of course, he had a long chat with the players and wished us all the best for Brazil. How much pleasure did that first goal give you? Well, the pleasure because we were having to work very hard to get through them. They got a lot of players back behind the ball. We were having to be very patient. Um, and when, when Daniel scored that wonderful goal, it really did open everything up. And it almost, uh, if you like, set the seal for a potential victory. And as you saw, the game got easier and easier, of course, as it, as it went on. And it, finally, we could get a, an emphatic victory. But the important thing tonight was to reward that incredible crowd that we had with a with a good performance and a, and a victory and I, I think we did that. And Leighton Baines, two great deliveries for, for the uh, second and third goals. Just how useful might that be in a tournament situation? Yeah, it can be very useful. I mean, Leighton's got that wonderful left foot. We've seen it for years now at Everton and before that at Wigan and we've profited by it, of course. And uh, with him and Stephen Gerrard, we've got a right foot and a left foot who can really play good balls into the box. And, with the type of players we have, in particular Gary and Phil, good in the air, we, we are a threat. So that, that was nice, that led to two goals, but I think that uh, their goal led a bit of a charm life, or their penalty box led a charm life, because we were swarming around it like bees, and I think 3-0 uh, was, was fairly scant reward at the end of the day. And, I mean, you took him off before the end, but is he OK, Leighton? Yeah, he's fine, yeah, it was just a precaution, really. We, you get a bit uh, paranoid at this stage, it's been two good weeks, the training's gone well, the game was going well, the, the atmosphere was fantastic, so the moment anyone even starts to feel any part of his body, you're, you're shouting at your people on the bench, get him off. So has that answered a few <coughs> questions for you tonight, that performance from the players? Well, it, I didn't really have any questions, I think my, my, my question to them was, you've, you've had two great weeks of training, you've done very well in training. I like the way things are looking, I like the way you know, that we're working at our game. Can we take this from the training field and put it onto the, onto the Wembley pitch in a game that matters? And uh, they certainly did that, so that's given me great satisfaction. But I've still got plenty of time to, to decide what starting eleven I will name when we play Italy in, in Manaus. And there's a lot of football, a lot of coaching, a lot of training and two more matches to play. Do you get a sense that there's momentum building though behind this England team at just the right time? I think the momentum is coming from the outside. I think we, we ourselves are fairly aware of what we're doing and what we need to be doing and we think that we're on course. You know, Our feet are very much on the ground but I'm really pleased with the momentum that's come from the outside, from the mass media, from the public and I think that was encapsulated tonight with the, the nigh on 90,000 people, the full house here at Wembley to, to wish us well and send us on our way. And does the excitement level now go up a level if you like. You finished here in England off to Miami and then it's next stop Rio. Yes, yes it does of course. We've only got one day one day free. We, we travel on Sunday and of course that's two days without training, you know, without any physical work. We've done a bit of work after the, 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 the game here with those who didn't play but um, obviously we're only two weeks away now. When we started in Portugal we were four weeks away. It's getting closer and the, the tension and the excitement builds but I'm really happy that the two weeks training has gone well and I'm happy that tonight's game has gone well. Good stuff, thank you very yeah, much thanks, for your time Roy. Thanks, well done. Just thank a couple you. more. Thanks, Roy. Are there any fitness concerns? Could you run us through the, um, the, 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 is it a clean bill of health? Yes basically, I mean obviously Leighton Baines suffered a little bit of cramp I think in his calf and that uh, made us cautious so we took him off. Also a good chance to give John Stones 10 minutes, which was nice. And the other three players who didn't feature, and Luke Shaw has a cold, uh, which he developed on Friday, so he didn't, uh, Wednesday I beg your pardon, so he didn't train yesterday or today, but he'll be fit to travel on Sunday. And the other two, Oxford Chamberlain and Phil Jones, they were just given a training session tomorrow to keep them progressing, if you like, with their return from injury because I want them both to play from the start on two, uh, Wednesday when we play Ecuador. No major injuries, no sorts of dramas. This feels too good to be an England campaign almost. Yeah, I think you're probably right actually and that's why I'm very, very cautious. I mean, I, I hope that my feet are on the ground. I know the players' feet are on the ground but you've got to be satisfied when, 
when things go well and Portugal went well, St George's Park went well and uh, now luckily enough we got the result we wanted tonight to send us off happy to Miami and then we'll start working again. Talk about the send off there. How proud does it make you feel to be leading this England team to the World Cup? I don't think, I don't think anything could have happened which would have made me feel any prouder because I've been, I've been proud from the offset. It's a, a tremendous uh, honour to be asked to manage your, your national team so I, I couldn't be prouder as such. But I'm, I'm delighted for the players that uh, you know, they'll go home tonight feeling very happy with their performance, with the way the game went. They'll certainly be very happy with the send-off from the fans. And as a result, that's the best you can hope for. But it doesn't win us games in the future. It just means that uh, we'll have a nice couple of days before we start working. It ramps up now. What would be your message to the players and also the supporters? Well, I think the message to supporters is to keep that positivity going because we, we do feed off it and we do appreciate it. And to the players, it will be enjoy the moment, enjoy the victory. You know, don't, don't play it down. But uh, remember, it's just one small step along the journey we're taking. There's, there's uh, big steps to take in the future. So keep your feet on the ground, keep working, keep concentrating. You know, take the good things and, and learn from the bad things. Okay, thanks everybody. No, sorry, I'm sorry. John Storm, John, what's your impression? He's impressed me very much. He's been very good. Okay, thanks everyone.